Hello everyone! As you already knew from the title, it's time to change my PC. This PC was built on the server processor. It's an 8-core 16-thread processor Xeon E5-2689 with a clock frequency of 3.3 GHz and Turbo Boost. On board we have 32 GB of server memory with a frequency of 1600 MHz and NVMe M2 SSD for the system with an average speed of 1500 MB on read and write. The legendary GTX 1060 on 6 GB is responsible for the graphics, which in my opinion is an excellent pair for this PC. It still allows you to play all modern games at medium or high settings. The motherboard from Koananja was adapted to work with this processor. For power supply is responsible fully modular Corsair 750W with gold certificate. In general this PC completely suit me for several years. I edited almost all my projects on it. It copes with all editing programs, allows you to work with graphics and even play in games. However, this platform is inferior in its performance to more modern platforms. This becomes especially noticeable after switching to work with 4K or 6K footage. Real-time playback began to freeze, so I had to reduce the quality for playing it in real-time. The processing of effects or graphics began to take too much time, and it becomes the main reason why I decided for upgrading my PC. And I decided to build my PC on a new platform from AMD with good potential for future updates. And the heart of our PC will be new Ryzen 9 7950X. This is a 16 core 32 thread processor that runs at a frequency of 5.7 GHz in max turbo boost and has a completely new platform with support of PCI Express Gen 5, which promises to provide us with a significant upgrade in the speed of the entire system. For this CPU, I choose the motherboard on the top chipset, Asus ProArt X670E Wi-Fi. My choice fell on this board because it has a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, a lot of slots for drives, four of which are in M2 format which means that we can get the maximum work speed of our system. Let's build our PC. And I will start from installation of our CPU. Open the socket and install the processor itself in place. Pay attention to the location of the key. We must match on the processor and mouse board for proper installation. Then close the socket cover. Next, let's move on to RAM. Here we have two 16 gigabit sticks from G-Skills, which in the future I plan to replace with two sticks of 32 gigabit each, in order to get a total of 64 gigabit of memory. This board has only one lock for installation the memory, so we need to install it from the button to up, after which we snap the lock itself. You can find the right location for installation in the manual. In my case, these are slots number 2 and 4. For work of our system will be responsible Western Digital Black on 1TB. It's a fast SSD drive in M2 format with speed up to 7300 megabits on reading. Previously I used a 5 gigabit drive for this system, but sometimes it wasn't enough. And I chose the disk without heat sink, because the motherboard already has the heat sink for these drives. Let's unscrew it and install the drive. Don't forget to remove the protective films. And I also decided to remove the sticker from the drive for better thermal conductivity. I don't recommend you to do it, as you may lose the manufacturer's warranty. After installation of the drive, snap the lock and close our drive with a heat sink cover. Water cooling from NZXT company will be responsible for cooling our stone. This is a 360mm Kraken X73 with three fans. The manufacturer recommends using a new type of mount for installation so that the pump fits properly to the processor. You can either buy this mount or write to NZXT and they will send it to you for free. The mount itself is almost the same, but the legs and the mounting bolts are different. I decided to remove the applied thermal paste from the pump with a cotton pad and alcohol, because I will apply my own. Let's assemble our radiator and fans together. Next, 
I remove the socket mount for Taro cooler. Place our plastic legs and tighten the bolts. Pay attention to the legs. They are suitable for socket IM4 and IM5, so it's important to install them in the right direction. The case for our PC will be NZXT H7. This is an ATX case in white color. I like its style. The presence of external glass and amount of the space in relation to its compact size. In addition, we can install a 360mm liquid cooler in front or top surface with dust filters. And it also has lots of holes which will positively affect on ventilation of our PC. In case you don't know, our Ryzen is a pretty hot guy and it's really important to keep it cool. On the back surface we have enough space for cable management as well as for installation HDD or SSD drives in 3.5 or 2.5 format. I decided to move the disk basket ahead to have more space for installation of our power supply. As for the power supply, I will use the Corsair fully modular block at 1000 watts. Let's install our block in its place and after I can install the motherboard inside the case. It's important to install the legs under all attachment points and then tighten it. Next we take care of the cooling. Apply thermal paste and distribute it over the entire surface of the processor. I did it with a plastic card because the processor has a non-standard shape of top surface. After I can install our pump and tighten it according to the instruction. Let's take care of our cables. This is a long process that took me several hours, but for you I decided to just speed up the whole thing. It's time to collect our case and first time to start our PC. I'm so happy what everything functioned perfectly. Now we are ready to install the operating system, drivers and programs. After that I decided to run a stress test of the whole system to make sure that it was stable and check our cooling system. Now let's open our project and see if anything has changed in working with my project. And yes, the project itself opens and runs much faster and the timeline itself plays in real time without any delays. The speed of work and rendering has also increased significantly. I'm still thinking about which video card to install in this PC. Write your opinion in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye!